Hi there everybody, today we're going to look at constructing triangles, we're going to do it in three ways. So we're looking at constructing triangles with a protractor, um, and then we're looking at another one using a protractor, and then finally we're going to look at constructing triangles with, with compasses. Okay, um, so there's three variations on this, um, which shouldn't take us too long to go through, probably about six, seven minutes, we'll see. Right, so first of all, to be able to construct a triangle, you need to be at least given at least one side length and two further pieces of information. So you kind of need three pieces of information to construct, draw any triangle. Um, and, you know, that's really what we're looking for. Um, and obviously, depending on the information you're given, we'll determine what it, what tools you're going to use to construct. All right. So let's have a look at this one. It's going to ask you to accurately construct the triangle show. Obviously, that's kind of key key word in there um, so really want you to measure quite carefully so um, you'll notice we've got three pieces we've got eight centimeters on the bottom and then 14 or 30 and no lengths on the rest so the, it's probably the best place to start is just drawing a line and um, for the eight centimeters nice and kind of uh, uh, at the bottom because we know we're going to go up from there so with ruler eight centimeters all along there and that's going to be our starting point we're then going to decide to, to go with the angles. So this is where the protractor comes into place. Um, and if you haven't looked at the lesson about using a protractor, please do so. Um, but what we need to do is position the protractor at one end. Um, so we'll go with the 40. So we'll go on the left-hand side and position our crosshairs right at the end uh, where we want the angle to be. And of course, line it up the zero. And then from there, we're going to count up to 40 and just make a mark where that is there. All right, so you can see, making a mark to get to the 40 there, okay? The next thing we're going to do is just going to draw a straight line. Now, we don't know how long that line is, so we're just going to draw it um, a reasonable length, thinking that as long as it goes past, it doesn't matter, because, again, we are constructing it, so that's a, not a problem if we go too far. Right, so we're going to repeat this time on the other side. So we're going to put our tracks on the right side this time where the 30 degree angle is. So position the crosshairs here, line up the zero, and this time we're going to go up to 30, which you see is there. And we're going to put a little mark with our pen so we know how 30 degrees is. And like before, we're going to take our ruler, um, and it should be a ruler, and we're going to draw a line across through there. And they'll cross at some particular point. And that's okay because that's our triangle construction. So we can kind of ignore those two lines that go above, um, essentially this bit and this bit. Um, but we leave them on there because we're showing the examiner that we've constructed it. Um, so it's absolutely fine. So I'm just going to kind of remove them with a little rubber um, for now. So you can see that I've constructed it. But in an exam, I would suggest you probably leave them on there. And it's not a problem to show that. And you might want to label it up at the bottom to say this is eight centimetres. This is 40 degrees and that's 30 degrees. And again, you might show the examiner that you've got that measured correctly. Okay, so that's the first one. Second one, um, again, the same thing. We still need three pieces of information. Um, so this time we've got two side lengths and the angle in between. So we're probably best starting off the way we started off last time. As we start off with the eight centimeters line at the bottom. Um, but this time, obviously, we don't have the angle on the bottom left like we did last time. We do have this angle. So it's probably worth starting there and getting our protractor out and measuring 30 degrees. So again, crosshairs right at the corner where the angle is going to be. Line up the zero and then measure up to 30. Put a little mark over here. And this time we know this is six centimeters. So we need to get our ruler out and get it to six centimeters. And again, line up to where the mark is and then draw a line through that little mark up right up to six centimeters hopefully you can see that quite comfortably there so we've got two of the lines and of course this being a triangle and uh, those two lines are exact so all we need to do now is just line the two up um, like so and that is our triangle the triangle is constructed all right so the final one so we haven't touched compasses so obviously we are this time around we're going to look at compasses um, and this is normally used when we don't have any angles so the basically there's no there's no angle to work with so um it, it's really when you've given three sides all right um so like last time we've got to start somewhere so um best places is just pick a side we're going to pick one where you've been doing the last two and just say let's eight centimeters along the bottom and but this time around Obviously, we don't know the angles, but we do know the two lengths. So we're going to use our compasses here. So we're going to open up our compasses to the length of the side 
that which is well we're going to do the five centimeters first you could do the six centimeters it doesn't matter um, but we're going to start with this one so we're going to put our spiky point on the end and we're going to our pencil bit here and we're going to draw an arc five centimeters because we know it's going to be cut somewhere along that arc all right so we just draw an arc there and again because this is construction we make sure those arcs remain on the page and we don't get rid of them all right we're then going to repeat the process on the from the other side over here um, and extending it to six centimeters all right so i'll leave the ruler where it is um, but i'll extend that to six centimeters and so, so from eight to two so that's six centimeters so pointy bit here pencil bit here and again we're going to draw an arc like we did before and you'll see that those two arcs cross um, and what that essentially means is that's where we're going to draw our lines to so we're going to draw a line from this point to that bit all right because because we're drawing it to this particular arc and we know that that's five centimeters and then we're going to draw a, a line from this corner the other corner up to the other bit and because we know that this bit is six centimeters so we've managed to get an eight a five and a six by using these arcs on there and that is our triangle constructed all right again we would tend not to remove um the construction lines because an examiner would be looking for those um to see that that's what we have done okay so that is constructing triangles with compasses and ruler and the three likely variations that you are going to get in an exam